Hi guys, this will be a makeup tutorial. Um, I'm gonna be going in depth on like what I use and how I do it. It's always good to like moisturize your face and stuff before you put on um, any type of anything on your face. So what my holy grail is for moisturizer is tea tree oil. I really love tea tree oil. Like it's literally like so good. Like it just like makes your skin like not break out. It's really good for pimples. And it's really good for like discoloration and all type of stuff. Like, and it's really light based. It never makes you like. It's not powerful on the skin because I have very sensitive skin. So like, only put a few type of things on it. And this is really good. And it's diluted tree oil, like not you know, full tree oil because that might be too powerful for other sensitive skin toners. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have like two drops, um, and then. I'm gonna do it like this and then put it on my face you don't want too much because you don't want your skin too oily you know when you're putting on makeup or is your, your makeup is gonna look like oily too so you don't want all of that but at the same time you may want to make sure that your skin is moisturized um next thing what you want to use is primer and honestly i've like recently just kind of started using primer because i used to think what does primer even do like i probably do not need it but ever since i started using primer i've seen like a huge difference with my makeup and i use um this elf grip powder um primer it's actually power grip i don't know why i said it like that but it's power grip primer and um i recently bought this like last week from ulta and it's pretty good um it kind of like makes my skin kind of like it looks like it's like really moisturized but it kind of like i don't know how to, yeah like you know how it says like powder grip i can feel it like gripping kind of to my skin i think that's like the best way to describe it um yeah so what i'm gonna do is i pour like a little bit on my finger and then i moisturize it into the rest of my um skin so the next thing we're gonna i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do my eyebrows and since this color hair is kind of like brown right um i don't use black i used to use like black for my eyebrows but that was when i had my black hair i usually correspond with my hair like when i have like my burgundy hair i use red on my eyebrows and yeah like when i have blonde i would lose like a lighter lighter brown than what i'm about to use now but um fun fact i actually use eyeshadow i use this glow essence it's kind of like dirty but because it's kind of old but who cares um i use this thing called essence the glow must go on and the kit is right here i'll just be using this shade right here for my eyebrows today um so yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna kind of outline my eyebrow i'm gonna face this way so you guys can see oh, I okay so that now that you guys have seen that the next step what i like to use is get my spoolie and then I'm gonna like blend it out like this. And I kind of create like a unibrow and it's really of a trust the process type of thing with me cause um, that's just kind of how I do my eyebrows and it looks good after it's done, but yeah. So the next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using concealer and the concealer I use is Tarte Shape Concealer. The color is Tan Sand, and I use this for the under part of my eyebrow. Now, the trick what I do is I just kind of um, tap it right here because I do find the Tarte Concealer really kind of, like, powerful. So, I don't need a lot, especially for my eyebrows. So, yeah. And then what I will get is this... Um, this i forgot how you what you call this brush flat end brush i think this is what it's called but a flat end brush and then i'm gonna like trace the under of my eyebrow to create that art 
Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you're doing like, oh, forgot to face this way. You want to make sure that you're um, creating the arch when you're doing the bottom, not the top. You don't want to create arch using the top. It really all matters with what you do at the with the bottom. Oh, I made it to so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be getting come foundation and i use the tarte face shape foundation in the shade um deep neutral yeah 51 n um and then i will use this for the top of my eyebrows i don't use concealer for the top of my eyebrows because i feel like that makes it really bright and looks unnatural um, and I want it to kind of match with my skin tone, you know, so I just use the foundation I use for the rest of my skin and then I blend it at the top with the same brush and this one you kind of just want to go straight across because the edge is the um, arch is already created from the bottom part. So all you need to do. It's just go down and now we're gonna use this brush right here this is my um my concealer brush and I just use this to kind of blend blend out the top of my eyebrow so now that I'm done with this eyebrow um, I'll do the next one and then come back okay I'm back and I finished my eyebrows so the next step is what, I, what I'm gonna be doing is concealing using my the same Tarte shape concealer um I will be doing a line on my nose see this also helps with the blending of the eyebrows too because the eyebrows aren't 100% done until after this part so I'll be putting this here and then I'll be using concealer for the under eyes. And this is how I conceal my under eyes. I don't go all the way down. Because I know that some other people like to go all the way down. Like down there, down there. But um, I don't really do that because I find I don't need to do that. I do like to put concealer on the top of my lip. The sides, around, and then under. And then I go on the side a little bit, but not too much. And then when I get to this part, I actually like to like put my hair back because when I'm actually doing these sides, it's like, I don't want to get my hair messed up. Now that I have my hair back, now I can continue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my concealer brush that I used before on the top of my eyebrows. And I'll be doing using this to blend in my concealer. Now, I like to leave these to blend out last because I feel like it makes a difference in, like, the setting of it. I don't know. But um, first, we're going to go here and do this. And just kind of just blend it out. Like, I just go kind of back and forth, up and down, like, you know, to make sure it's really blended all around. Okay, now we're going to go to the sides. You want to make sure you really get under that cheekbone. Um, that jawbone, I mean. Because um, it you could tell when it's like a harsh, like, cut off and that does not look good so you want to just make sure it's like really blended and all that so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this part the under eye what i like to do i kind of make sure it kind of just stays up i don't like to drag it down because i feel like it defeats the purpose of putting concealer under your eyes now, what I like to do is I like to put it 
down my nose because when I contour my nose, that's when it will come in handy. So now you're probably wondering, like, what the freak? I look crazy. Like, I look crazy, right? But um, don't worry. It all comes together in the end. Now, I know you think some people put concealer on their forehead. But from that line on my nose, I, like, kind of just bring it up and then do my forehead. I don't feel like I need to put too much. And then you want to go in to your eyebrows to create that fading natural look that eyebrows usually have. Um, and that's the look I really like, so. And then fully, like, blend that in. Now you can still see the line on my nose. But when we get to contouring is when we'll, like, do all of that. Next up is foundation. And the foundation I will use is the same one I use for my eyebrows. And it's the Tarte Shape um, Foundation Face Tape. Um, foundation. Yeah. So, um, and I use my Holy Grail Foundation Brush. Um, this is a really good foundation brush. Honestly, I don't know where... Oh, this is Secret Ephero, and this is really good. I got it from the beauty supply store, and I don't know. I really like it, so yeah. So what I do is I don't put the foundation, like, on my face. I put it on my brush. Like, I do, like, a dab like that because I find that I don't need to do that much with this face tart can, um, foundation because it's really, like, a lot, and I don't like to look cakey, you know? I don't think anybody likes to look cakey, so. Yeah, you don't want to do too much. And what I'm going to do is, so you see where I'm putting foundation? I put it on my cheeks, the top of my forehead. Um, and then I'm going to also put it right here. Right here. And under a little bit, right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to blend it in now. You really want to make sure you're doing the sides here because you don't want to, you don't want people to be like, ooh, they could, because I'm telling you, they will be able to see those hard lines and you do not want that to be seen. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go with my concealer brush again and we're going to touch up on my concealer to make it blend into my foundation. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to, um, you know... We're gonna set my face and um i use the black radiance loose setting powder this is so good i'm telling y'all guys this is so good so this is the only setting powder i use i used to use airspun and um i still have another one um i stopped using because after i discovered how good this is i don't see it it's somewhere but um yeah this is the main one i use and it's, honestly it's almost done i'm gonna have to go buy a new one very soon but um i like to put setting powder under my eyes down my nose like here like the sides of my nose like this um and then the sides right here right here basically you want to put setting powder everywhere you put your concealer like now for contouring i like to use this brush um and i use um mary Kay bronze for um bronzing thing um for contouring you're probably like um are you supposed to use bronzer for contour honestly i just do because um i don't really don't see a difference so i know some bronzers it like can have like sparkles in it but this one actually has like no sparkles so that's why like i really use it for my contour and this bronzer honestly it's just a slight slight like darker um um slight darker than my skin tone because i find using dark dark like 
contours slash bronzers, bronzers or whatever can really make you kind of look like a freaking ghost and you really don't want that you want something warm that will make your face just all come together you know so yeah um what i did was i just put like bronzer up here up here to kind of outline my nose bridge like that's what you kind of want to do you want your nose bridge to be outlined when you're doing your nose contour and you always want to make sure you're putting contour on the bottom of your nose because i'm telling you guys it is fundamental um now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this big brush and this is the brush i use to contour the rest of my face now um uh, i like to go in with my cheeks and as you see guys it's already bringing like the color back to my face it's very like warm like it's not too much okay as you see it kind of like wiped off the setting powder but that's fine that happens every time and it's the setting powder still on the places where it needs to set anyway so it's all good next thing we're gonna do is eyeliner now the eyeliner i use is this um nick hack nick hack new york eyeliner i think this is, is it yeah or whatever and what i like to do is honestly i just start from here and then i go up like triangle and the triangle that's like that's kind of how i do it i just make a, a small triangle and that's it Now that we're done with the eyeliner, what we're going to do is put on the lashes. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm done with my eyebrow, I mean, not my eyebrows, my eyelashes. And now for like almost the last step, like we're almost there guys, Um, is we're going to be taking off the setting powder. And I like to use this brush, it's just a neutral like brush, uh, to take off my powder. Okay, now I'm going to be doing... A little bit of eyeshadow since this is a makeup tutorial i'm gonna have a little fun you know and i'm gonna use the same thing that i use for my eyebrows um and i'm gonna be using um this color honestly i'm not a big eyeshadow person um i just put on a darker or whatever color and then i just make it like blend out <laughs> honestly i'm pretty like you know like lazy when it comes to eyeshadows i seriously can't get into eyeshadows though that's why i kind of want to work on this summer too um since i don't really do it like that and i i have the products to really get into it too like i have so many eyeshadow palettes i just literally don't even use them because i'm not like an eyeshadow person but i need to get to it for real um so yeah, that's kind of just how I do um, a little bit of eyeshadow. And what we're going to do next is we're going to use, mm, this is really a holy grail. Like, you know how I said everything else was like a holy grail? This is really a holy grail, like for real. Now this will set your makeup. Like, it not only just sets your makeup, but it makes it look like, like your skin. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but now let me tell you why it does that though. It's a new natural finish, right? It's a make it last. Like, it's matte still. But, like, it's a prime, correct, and set. Like, it literally does everything it says it does. Like, so I'm going to spray this on. Now I like to, like, blow it because <laughs> my face is, like, mad wet. It dries pretty quickly, though, so it won't take long for it to just kind of go down. But I'm telling y'all, after that, like, I'm telling y'all, like, your makeup is going to be so good. Like, ugh, it's just so good. It's literally my holy grail, y'all. I'm really giving y'all my secrets because that Milani setting spray is the best setting spray. And I've used a lot of setting sprays in my life. And that is definitely, that is definitely the best. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on highlight. Um, I'm going to use this brush for my highlight. This is the brush I always use. And yes, y'all, y'all probably tired of me saying this, but I use this same palette 
And what I do is I use both of these shades right here. Um, and I just kind of put it on my cheeks a little bit like this. And just a little glow because I like to have a little glow. You know, even though it's a matte finish, I still like a little glow here and there. What I'm going to do is put on my lip liner. This is um, NK Bold Lip Liner in the shade um, Black Cherry. This is one of my favorite colors of all time for lip liners. And I just kind of round around my lips. I don't have like an in-depth like lip liner like tutorial or anything like how other girls would have it. I honestly just put it around my lips. The lip gloss I'm using today is the Mood Standing Lip Gloss. This lip gloss is... It's in the flavor honey. It actually has a flavor like it tastes sweet when you like, you know, use it or whatever. Okay, guys. So I'm finished with my makeup tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. And yeah. Bye, guys.